Good morning everyone. Good morning to my dear panelists. I am Ms. Chris Velasiman, Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Mathematics from Kandihai District. I will now present to you my lesson plan. This is Grade 11, Component Area General Mathematics, Quarter 2, Duration is 1 hour. I have here the learning competency, solves problems involving simple and profound interest. The key understanding to develop maturity value and compound interest by using the formula F is equal to P times 1 plus R raised to the power of T, where P is the principal or present value. F is the maturity or value at the end of the term. The R is the interest rate and the T is the time or the term in years. Steps. Step 1. Read and analyze the problem. Step 2. Understand the words used in the problem. Step 3. Identify the given facts or data which can be used in writing the solution. Step number 4. Be sure to know that what is asked in the problem. Number 5. Find the solution. And after that one, you can check your answer by substituting it to the formula. The learning objectives at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to knowledge, recall the difference between simple and compound interest, the skills solve the problems involving compound interest, attitudes, concern for others in sharing ideas, values, responsible consumerism. I have here the resources needed, a curriculum guide, book, PowerPoint, papers, introductory activity, the activity, I have here the analysis, the obstruction, application, and assessment, and assignment. Okay, good morning everyone! May I request to please stand for a prayer? Raphael, please lead, lead a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good morning once again! Okay, how was your day? Okay, it's good to hear that you are great and fine. Now, before we start, can we line your chairs? And pick up the pieces of paper under your chairs. Okay, now, before we will start, before we will go on with our topic for this morning, I have prepared uh, a situation for you. Okay. Suppose you won 10,000 pesos and you plan to invest it for two years. A. A cooperative group offers 8% simple interest rate per annum. Letter B. A bank offers 8% compounded annually. Now, the question is, which will you choose and why? So, between the two, A and B, which will you choose? Okay, now, reserve that one. We will reserve that one. At the end of the topic, we can answer your question. Or we can answer the question. Okay, before we will go on with our topic, I will present to you our learning objectives. The knowledge should call the difference between simple and compound interest. The skills solve the problems involving compound interest. Attitudes concerned for others in sharing ideas and values responsible for showing reason. Now, I have here another activity. I will group you into three. Count of one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, group one must be here. Group two and group number three. Okay, go to your group now. And then the situation goes like this. Problem one. Five years ago, Anna put her savings worth 10000 in an account providing a compound interest rate of 3.5% per annum. Find the value of her savings today and the amount of interest. So I will give you five minutes, go to your group, group and have a collaborative learning to solve that problem. Okay? Time's up! Okay, now, I have here questions. How will you classify your own problem? By the activity I did, or I did earlier. How will you classi classify your own problem? Raphael, very good, correct? How about, how did you obtain the answer to your assigned problem? Yes, Jason, correct? How about, did the group arrive at the same answer? Group 1, did you answer? Group 2, group 3, okay, very good. You have the same answer. What did you do in order to arrive at the correct answer? Yes, 
Adela. Very good. Correct. And now, uh, based on our activity earlier, what will be our task this morning? Yes, Alvin. Very good. Our topic for this morning is all about maturity value and compound interest. Now, what, will, what is compound interest? Yes, Rafael? Okay, correct. Compound interest on P is the amount of interest charged to the amount P and the interest earned on previous time periods. Or in other words, interest to interest. Okay, how about or what is the difference between compound interest and simple interest that we discussed last meeting? Okay, I want another hint. Yes, uh, Albert. Okay, correct. So simple interest, it is an easy method. It is multiplying the principal by the rate in time, interest rate in time. Well, the compound interest is interest on interest. Very good. So now let's proceed to future value of P barrel invested or invested at an annual compound. It is using by the formula A is equal to P times 1 plus R raised to the power of T. And the present value or face value is the principal of P of the loan or the amount of money borrowed or invested on the origin date present value. Now, we will apply it. I have in here a problem. Find the maturity value in compound interest if 50% 50 50,000 I mean is invested at 5% compounded annually. Okay. I have here a given 50,000 principal. The rate is 5%. The T is 8 years. Okay. By using the formula that we discussed earlier, uh, just substitute the given. The principal is 50,000, a rate is 0 0.05, and the T is 8 years. Simplifying further, we get the answer of 73,872.77. Uh, How about compound interest? By using also the formula, okay, F minus T, okay, substitute F minus the principal, the answer is 23,872.77. Do you have any question? Okay, none. So what is the importance of knowing the compound interest and simple interest in our daily living? In our uh, real life situation, what is the importance of this? Yes, Madela. Correct, very good. For example, in our daily living, we have a money. Uh, you will put that in a bank. So how, uh, how much interest you can earn? At the end of the time, at the end of the year, uh, how many years, for two years, so you must know of that. Okay, how about if you will uh, have or uh, lend a money to your friend and then, and then you uh, that is have an interest, but you will know how much interest you will pay. Okay, is there any question regarding with our topic this morning? Okay, none? So what is the noise all about uh, there? Okay, so if you have no questions, okay, I have here uh, another problem. Please get one half crosswise. Suppose your father deposited 10,000 in your bank at an annual interest rate of 0 0.5%. Compounded yearly when you graduate from kindergarten and did not get the amount until you finish grade 12. How much will you have in your bank account after 12 years? Okay, in order to have 50,000 in 5 years, how much should you invest if the compounded interest is 5%? Okay, now I will give you uh, 20 minutes to answer that one. Okay, thanks up. Pass your paper. 